When you want to work with information in a table, you often need to start by selecting an entire row or column. In this quick tip, I show you a couple of quick ways to make that selection. When you want to work with a table, you often need to select a row or a column. A very quick way to do this is by using the mouse. You'll notice on the screen that I have a document. It's just a memo for a fictitious company. And there's a table right here in the middle of this memo. Watch what happens when I move the mouse pointer just above a column. Notice that it changes into a downward arrow. Now, if I wanted to, I can select this column by clicking the mouse once and the entire column is selected. If I wanted to as well, I could select multiple columns by clicking and dragging to select the multiple columns that I need. Now I'm going to get out of that table and watch what happens when I move the mouse pointer to the left of a row within the table. You'll see that it becomes an upward pointing arrow and all I have to do is click on that mouse pointer and the row is selected. Similarly to selecting multiple columns, I can click and drag to select the rows that I want. Now, if you prefer, you can also select columns and rows by using commands on the ribbon. All you have to do is put the insertion point within whatever cell is within the row or column that you want to select. And then you're going to choose the layout tab of the ribbon right over here. Notice that there are two layout options within the ribbon. You want the one that's visible once you have that insertion point within the table. To select the row or column, all you then have to do is go over to the select option right over here at the left side of the ribbon. I click that down arrow and you can see that I can select either the column or the row where that insertion point is located. There you have it, a couple of really quick ways to be able to select rows or columns within your table. I hope that you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, please click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon. That way you'll be informed whenever I add a new video to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few moments with me today.